was about two weeks later before we would get another chance to hunt that buck I missed, and we couldn't help but wonder if we had spooked that buck to the next county. Conditions were perfect for a tree stand set in a small woodlot bordering that alfalfa field. Our usual policy is to switch out cameraman to hunter, and it was Scott's turn to hunt. As I watched through the viewfinder that day, I knew at any time that buck may reappear. Today, however, would not be that day. It would be another week and a half before we would get to hunt that spot again. This time, conditions were perfect for our ground blinds set up just outside our evolved harvest food plot that we had planted in August. Scott was up and we knew it was just a matter of time before that buck would show. All right. We are set up in the ground blind hotel. Where this feels like we're in the Sheridan here. This thing is tricked out. We got windows all over. We got a nice little ground heater going here. That's a nice little setup. But uh, this is our first official day in this ground blind. We got a brand new snowfall about six inches. season so we're gonna sit tight and see if we can get that big buck that Jerry missed oh, that hurts. that's killing him if we can get that big buck it'll be awesome we waited and waited but we had no visitors. Two days later, we would get another chance to sit that food plot. Again, it was Scott's turn up. With temperatures in the teens, the deer were visiting this spot more and more. We waited patiently for that buck to return, but all that showed were two sledders having some fun on the side of that alfalfa field hill as the sun went down. The second chance buck would have to wait for another day. It would be another week before we get a chance at that food plot, and this time it was my turn to hunt.
with about 20 minutes of daylight left, a year and a half year old half rack came down the hill. As he looked around, he suddenly looked up the hill. He knew who was coming, and we had a pretty good idea ourselves. With all the work and planning that comes with creating a successful hunting season, it sometimes comes down to one defining moment. I had hoped for over a month that I might get another opportunity at this buck, but I never really expected it to happen. Now here he is, against all odds, as comfortable as can be, completely unaware of our presence. Everything perfect, the wind in our favor, Scott and I quietly watching him as he grazed around our food plot. Patience would be the key here. This time, I had to make that shot count. Redemption is mine. That is the buck that I missed early November. Shot right under him. I didn't make the same that mistake twice. We were praying. We were praying for that one to come by, and here he did at last light. He came right to our food plot. Scott and Colton and I put in in August. And I am happier than heck. That was awesome. Great job, Scotty, on the film. Nice shot. Nice shot. What a good set. We've been planning this for a long time. We got about 15 degrees, northwest wind, December 14th, and I'm on the board with a beautiful buck. Yeah. Great job, buddy. Nice work. All right. Carbon Express out of the Matthews Z7. Great combination. We put it in the boiler room and he didn't go far. 
Let's go get it. Sweeping G2 here with an extra sticker point. He's got this nice three inch sticker off the base of his left beam. That's how I could identify him. I saw from the footage I got of him when I missed him on the ground blind setup with Albert, our decoy. I shot under him. And uh, we've been watching him with the cutty back for the last couple weeks. And uh, he's been coming to the food plot pretty regular. So we were just hoping and praying that he would come back one of these nights when we were sitting here. And he did. Beautiful brows. Good mass all around. He's just a beautiful buck. Golly, I am proud of this deer. We've hoped you enjoyed this hunt. Please visit us at www.takedownoutdoors.com for your outdoor adventures on demand.